Hey tea heads, this is Don from Mayleaf. In this video, how to start Gong Fu Brewing. In this video, I'm finally joined by my mother. Say hello to everybody out hello, there. It's everyone. been a while trying to get her to do a video with me. <laughs> her name is Monica. Say hello to her in the comments section below. And we're going to be talking today about how to just dip your toes into Gong Fu Brewing. For those of you who don't know, Mayleaf is all about celebrating tea and the best way to really celebrate the effects, the flavor and all of the positive benefits of tea is by Gong Fu Brewing. If you don't know what I mean and you're not sure what Gong Fu Brewing is, I'll put a link in the description below so you can discover more specifically about Gong Fu Brewing. But one of the big shames in my life, I've got a couple of big shames. The first big shame oh, yes. in my life oh, yes. is that I didn't start learning Chinese early enough. Okay, not guilty there. Not guilty there. <laughs> the second shame in my life is despite doing videos every week about Gong Fu Brewing, despite trying to convert the world to Gong Fu Brewing, my own mother here, while she does have tea sessions with me, in her day-to-day -day life, she does not, you do yeah, not do Gong Fu Brewing. I don't. Okay. I don't, I don't. So we want to talk about the reasons why and try to clear away those obstacles. Maybe this video is um, good a good video to show to your friends if you've purchased some gifts, some tea gifts for your friends so that they can start to understand Gong Fu Brewing. Or maybe you've... Uh, been given a voucher at, from mayleaf.com and you're not quite sure what to buy, vouchers are available. I'll put a link in the description below. So if you want to buy a gift for somebody, then yeah. give them a voucher and then point them towards this video. Let's welcome everybody into Gong Fu Brewing, but it might be a bit overwhelming, right? If you've it received is. a voucher oh, from mayleaf.com, you go yeah. to the website, you're sure. not sure what to do, you're not sure anything about yeah. Gong Fu Brewing. So yeah. we're going to try and yeah. simplify this. Okay. So. Let's see. For those of you who don't know, Gong Fu Brewing, very simply, is just brewing the tea in the best possible way to get the most flavor and effect. You can take away the idea of ceremony, because I think that that's one of the obstacles, right? Is that people it's, feel it's a bit too complicated and a bit too difficult. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, it feels complicated. It feels difficult. And also it's got that stigma about, oh, it's got to be something right. very special. It's got to be a ceremony. Otherwise, it takes away sort of the tradition that it should be. Right. So but cancel all of that. Cancel right? it all. Okay. All of this is is simply just on, on, on the very basic level. All of the other aesthetic and you know tradition, artistic yeah. things can come afterwards. The most important thing here is the Gong Fu style of brewing has been designed to just get the most out of your tea leaves. Sure. So just see it as a practical thing. That's all. It's just a practical way of brewing. Okay. That's all. Okay. okay. Now I know the other complication um, and the other obstacle is time right it is I think I always feel oh, you know it's much quicker to get uh, you know some boiling water pour it into a cup with the tea leaves is there rather than going through she the she didn't say tea bags but they are they are in her cupboard <laughs> Okay, I I, I, I have I do, to like come I, clean. I do have a, well, I have a few. Despite I, me I not, giving her tons of loose tea, yeah, I, I still do, see tea bags occasionally. in your cup. Come on, it's not that bad. Mm, all right, yeah. all right, we're not going to go into an argument. Okay, there. but the point but, is time, right? It is time, but I think it's because it's also, uh, I think it's also a frame of mind. I really do. Because it's not that time consuming to actually get ready, have your little especially this little one this is great yeah. put that on your desk and have it set up there it's just the thing i think it's a, you have to educate somebody to get yeah i think you just need to do it a few times and once you do it yeah, a few but once times you educate yourself and then you get the taste of the the tea and you know how good it is and i'm not negating that it's no bad but i just find it a little bit complicated and all right but, time the, but you have told me before that it's time consuming it is right time consuming. and i think that the reason that there's an issue there is because the yeah. time in the day that you are allocating to drinking tea yes is when well i like my co coffee, coffee yeah. i must have my coffee in the morning i'm a right. real coffee drinker i only have coffee in the morning i don't have it during the day uh, and then uh, that's it. So, so the time the that you're morning, allocating, I could not have a go right? In the morning. But that's because you're allocating the idea of tea to that time of day. Yes. The point here is this. This is the key here to time to to to, to how you incorporate going for. Yeah. It's it's not about it's it's about where or yeah. when in your day do you have the time 
to do Gong Fu Brewing. And it's not like an, absorbed, abs uh, an absorbing process that takes an hour of your time. You can brew, you know, one infusion, it take you five minutes, right? Sure, but sure. it's just making sure that you have the ability to go back and re-infuse mm -hmm, that tea. Mm -hmm. So if you are rushing out of the door between breakfast and going to work, well, right? Then you don't, no. then it doesn't make no, sense no, to do that. No. But if you then say, well, what about at my desk at work? Could I find a space, a little small footprint on my desk and then I could brew, brew Gong Fu style during the day. Yeah. It's about when is, when are you sitting in one place for, you know, a few hours or long enough that would make sense to incorporate Gong Fu brewing. So you've got to change your sort of approach of when is tea time, yeah. right? Exactly. That's the thing. Exactly. It's like, just yeah, yeah. to think about your day. Yeah. When do you have time? Where do you have time that you can position yourself to have Gong Fu brewing? The only advantage, I guess, once you have it set up, mm. You have it set up for the whole day, yeah. haven't you? Really? Yeah. You don't have to stop yeah. to think. Oh, I need to go and get my tea from the cupboard. It's all there. Yeah. It's all set there. Just have the water. You've just got to like take that that extra bit of thought to say, all right, I'm going to install a little yeah. Gong Fu setup here yeah. because I know I'm that I'm not. spending a lot of the. the well, we'll see. Yes, I will. I promise. Yeah. You have. Okay. okay. Next time, you right. come into so, the office and you can see it. Then. Well, I, I hope so. But <laughs> when, so basically, once you've decided your, your, the time in your day where you are sitting in sort of, or in the same yes. area and you can do Gong Fu Brewing, then you just need to buy some simple gear and you don't have to get complicated, all right? The most simple gear of them all is no, the Connoisseur Tea Brewer. I like that, that I do use. And this allows you to do Gong yeah. Fu Brewing at your yeah. desk yeah. with the most minimal footprint possible. So you don't even need the satellite, you don't need yeah. any tray. Leaf goes in here, water goes in there, you push the button, it decants the tea down, you pour into your cup, you drink, you then pour more hot water and you That's keep right. reinfusing yeah. the day. This yeah. is the most simple, accessible, mm -hmm. small footprint way of doing Gong Fu Brewing, right? It is. Well, I have one question here. Okay. I find that I still need to get up yeah. and boil the water right. to refill. Yeah. Now, if I had a kettle like you have here, mm -hmm. I suddenly realized that is always at the right temperature. Right, so, so you have you two choices. Have a, you could actually then always have the water. Do you understand what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, here? absolutely. Because always say, oh, I need to get If you water. get up, then you can't And you're be busy bothered. doing yeah. your work and you, you haven't got time to get up. So you want, or you, you don't want to get up. So you're okay. Kettle is there. Yeah, but you've got thermoses as well. Oh, yeah. So a thermos is very simple. Oh, you have thermoses at Yeah, we've got the brew yeah. rider, or you can use any thermos that, that yeah. you like. Mm. Fill it up with boiling water. Yeah. Usually that will give you many, many infusions yeah. before you need to refill. So you, yeah. I might only yeah. need to get up to do the kettle boil once or twice a day. Okay. And let's face it, getting up and having a walk around is not a no, bad no, thing no, for okay. you. Okay. So the <laughs> Connoisseur Tea Brewer is the, if you are wanting to jump into Gong Fu Brewing, but you don't have large amount of desk space, or you want to just make it as simple as possible, Connoisseur Brew is the way to go. Yeah. If you want to just make it a little bit more expansive, you don't need a tea tray, but we've got one here, so we might as well use it. Glass pot. Gong Fu glass pot is great, universal. You can use it for almost True. any tea, yeah. well, all teas, yeah. and transparent. It's just gonna I make like the flex. So yeah. a glass pot, yeah. Yeah. what you need is a glass pot. You need a Gong Dao Bay or a pitcher. You can, there's simpler square ones. Why? You, because you don't want to pour directly from here into your cup because you'll, you'll probably that. leave some, well. I do that, sorry. Okay, so <laughs> the reason is because if you, you okay. put, first of all, if you pour from here into a smaller cup, you'll leave water in here, right? Yes. If you pour, and that will over stew the yeah, leaves, okay. right? Okay. Second, if you have a bigger cup and you're pouring into a big cup, then you're not really going to get the full uh, taste of the tea because what's happening is you're you're drinking from a, a larger container which is going to make keep the heat for longer right that means it's going to be hot when you're drinking but i want it hot but yeah but you don't want it to be you want the temperature of tea needs Sorry, to guys, be I'm not... no 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 that's fine the temperature <laughs> of tea you know if the the uh, appreciation of flavor is very dependent on temperature Right? No, and so you don't want something that's too hot. You can't yeah. then taste it. Taste right? it yeah. One of the problems with the big mug of English tea it's is that when you first start drinking, it's too hot yeah. and then you let it cool and then invariably the last third is too cold, yeah. right? Whereas if you're brewing a smaller amount of tea and you're pouring it here and you're getting sort of three infusions, it always sort of dissipates yeah. the heat better. You're getting yeah. better temperature. So yes, you can technically pour direct from here into a larger mug, 
that's still gong fu brewing technically but it is Bit better okay. for you to do it this way oh. that allows you then to take your lid off and let the leaves steam and just sort of just cool down mm -hmm. so that they're not being affected okay. too much for the next infusion so some sort of How container how do you put the next slot in just before you're pouring it back in there then what do you mean once you have poured your tea mm -hmm. into the dang gong the gong dao bei yeah gong dao bei. Okay. Uh, <laughs> i've watched all the videos i've done so many times and i still okay. can't pronounce it so my tea leaves are in here yeah, i yeah. pick up the lid yeah right yeah. let it whatever so yeah now how long can they can it stay like that for a long time or would it you can, you can you can stay it can stay like that for the whole day really you could, just keep, oh, okay. you could hit that those leaves in five minutes in an hour in two hours in three okay. hours we've right. done video about how to store your tea in between infusions and yeah. we've done tests you can do 12 hours you know okay. you can you could okay. You could start at night. Mm. I know that you don't drink tea at night because you're a bit caffeine sensitive. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't yeah but like if you were somebody who drank tea at night, you could have a few infusions, go to sleep, yeah. wake up, you've got your breakfast yeah. tea ready for you. Yeah. So don't worry about that. Yeah. Like, you know, a lot of people feel this pressure. If they set up the Gong Fu session, then they need to finish the Gong Fu session all in one session. Mm -hmm. No, the whole point is it's your partner throughout the day. But I always had these visions about uh, leaves that essentially would be wet yeah can they turn moldy after a while? yes they will really? but you would need to leave it for for 24 hours you know and, and, and the, honestly and like two hours okay. three hours four hours it's five right. after about seven or eight hours the recommendation is to give it a little rinse beforehand okay. Okay. not that it's gone bad but it will have start to have a, like a an aroma which is a little bit musty okay and you just want to rinse that yes. away okay. in china they say it's like warming up after, before exercise, you know, you've got to like just sort of stretch a bit before okay. you do the exercise. Okay, so Sorry. very simple gear. You don't need the tray. You can either use your connoisseur tea brewer if you are starting out in Gong Fu. Very, very simple, very, very easy, small footprint. If you want to just expand it a little bit, make it a little bit more aesthetic and go glass fully because this inside one is, is, is a plastic, yeah. um, then having a glass Gong Fu pot is the universal a gong dao bei and a cup yeah right easy now which tea do you pick ah that's the difficulty there's too many there's teas so many teas so to many pick teas. well if you go oh. to our website then there's a help me choose section on the website and my whole thing here is it needs to be according to taste right okay. if you're picking tea because of, of something like health like oh i heard that green tea is good for me it's fine but like the most important factor you why must enjoy you it. must enjoy it you must exactly enjoy the flavor taste yeah. is everything exploring oh God, taste you, him and taste taste <laughs> this one taste from a very very young age he was obsessed with taste can i say that yeah yeah he, he, he was obsessed with like. taste. It's, it's not too embarrassing <laughs> no no <laughs> you know he could taste food uh, uh, until uh, different type of food for yeah. years i can talk, talk about talk tasting about for it. a long time but, as you all but, know yeah but in fairness <laughs> you know he he's he comes from a family where there was chinese cooking yeah there was i'm um, swiss so there was swiss cooking there's living in england yeah so there was all these fusions you know and i saw something like we have a chinese meal but there could be a little swiss add rice with everything yes right or there could be a little there was swiss it add doesn't on. matter what we would have there would be <laughs> rice with everything yeah i know i know or there could be a, a you know, relatively Swiss yeah, meal, but yeah. a little Chinese add on yeah, with it, yeah, yeah. you know. So you were actually brought up with a lot of flavors from a very young age. A know? lot of flavors, a lot of influences, yeah, and yeah. me and, and my, taste, and my yeah. siblings can talk yeah. food for... Oh, for don't, oh, I sound a bit too much. I just, <laughs> I just walk out of the room and that happens. It just goes on. <laughs> you can talk for be... hours and hours and hours yeah, about yeah, food yeah, and drink yeah, and taste. Yeah. Right, so if you go to okay. our website... Right and we're focusing on taste here, then go to the help me choose section on the website. I'll put the website in front of you so you can see, or you can just scroll down and you can see the scented candles there, right? So pick two aromas that you fancy. So this is our very shortcut hack and it's not by any means, it's not some sort of like perfect system, of course, but it just starts to filter out a little bit some teas that may be interesting to you. So can you pick oh, two of those? Two different ones? Yeah, so you need to put, pick two. I like this one, the roasted nuts. nuts. Okay, there, so we yeah, pick that. That one, and honeysuckle. So flowery. flowery, so flowery yeah. and roasted nuts one. Okay. okay. 
this is the choice. So we give five choices and they're going to be varied. So you can see white so peonies there. Can white I stop you? Can yeah. I stop? So by me picking these two now, these have come up. So you've got done, yeah. done that before. So these are now... So uh, we've taken our 100 teas and we've shrunk mm -hmm. it down to a selection of five, five teas, teas for you to read the tasting notes and okay. then make your selection, right? Okay. And they are going to be very different. For example, white peony is a very light tea, but has a nutty aroma and yeah. has a uh, floral has some floral yeah. finish right yeah. whereas something like uh, black rose is very very dark yeah. and floral so they're wildly different but they have those characteristics so out of all of these oh, if you read see. that one gleaming gleaming brow bro gleaming brow, brow. you just happen to pick one of the most expensive teas on the planet oh, well, then i'm sorry yeah. but that, that's the one i, I, I just that's like, quite right i'm always happy to drink gleaming brow okay <laughs> so we're going to come back and we're going to do a session with gleaming brow okay okay here we are we've got just over five grams of gleaming brow aka ginger and may i've done two videos about this tea this tea is one of the most revered black teas in the world good oh, choice but... mum oh, <laughs> always a good time to have a gleaming brow <laughs> session so what we're going to do today is we're going to be doing a 10-step tasting okay so the purpose ten steps. yep 10 steps oh. so the purpose of gong food brewing is to maximize flavor but maximize experience right mm -hmm. you want to really get to know yeah. these leaves right okay. if you're brewing in a cup and you're brewing western style with a teaspoon and then you put the leaves to the side and you okay. drink a big okay. mug of tea you you're losing 80 percent right. of the experience the mm -hmm. sensorial experience of this right so Excited. we're going to do a 10 step taste okay, okay? so let's begin right so the first thing is ice dry leaf let's just analyze the leaves let's see what they look like how would you describe those leaves? Nothing special, <laughs> really, can I? <laughs> Nothing special. No. The most expensive tea in the world. <laughs> Doesn't smell very much. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so uh, number one uh, rule like, <laughs> with number one rule with tea and well, one it's of the... just, it, it, no, do you know what it does? It looks dust free. It looks dust free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> it looks dust free. You know you sometimes you buy loose tea. Yeah. And there's always dust. Uh, in oh, like tea dust, tea like dust, broken yeah, up leaves. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's, it's whole leaf. Yes. So yes, that's the whole. best that we can get out of yeah. it. Okay. Sorry. So first of all, <laughs> smelling dry leaf, forget it. Smelling cold leaf, it smell there's anything. no point. You're not going to... But always let, let me, said to me, you have to smell. You have to smell it once it's warmed up. Okay. Right? Okay. If a leaf smells when it's cold and dry, right? Yes. That means that two things. First of all, it's either been scented right it's been uh, sprayed or something okay. or secondly that's not desirable that means it's losing aroma the whole point is the aroma needs to be locked into the leaf otherwise okay. you wait two weeks and that aroma has gone okay right Fair so enough. you don't want mm. the cold dry leaf to okay. smell of much okay. right and it's one of the biggest problems is that whenever somebody comes to our tea house or whenever anybody's trying to buy tea they do that and they go oh, I don't smell Doesn't anything smell like and then they buy jasmine Right, because, because of the fact that it smells something. Yeah. So the whole point is it's not meant to smell of anything. Okay. Okay. So in here contains rolled up buds. Okay. Really? And they're rolled up buds wow. and there's about 1,000 to 1,500 buds per 10 grams. So here's just over five grams. So here there's about 700 little little, little buds, buds. That have been rolled away. so you say it doesn't look much but to me it looks incredible because there's about 700 or so very finely rolled buds that don't as you said not broken up yeah. very very nice the colors are sort of uh what color would you say that is a uh, sort of a uh, um gray 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 black gray golden got golden tones in it yeah so it's got some gold golden gold it's I think that gray. the gray what you're saying is because you're seeing the light reflected off it because it's very sort of glossy Can I look yeah it's very very glossy and therefore yeah, the very light shiny. it's very very yeah, shiny yeah, so you can yeah, see yeah. the oils have been brought to the yeah, surface yeah, in the rolling yeah, process yeah, yeah. it's got a dark chocolatey black brown color with those golden flecks yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so you're going to be doing the brewing because you gong might. fu brewing mm -hmm. is all about the brewer so pour in some hot water into the pot we Just want to, to warm he, the he, pot up yeah oh that's like a, the proper way isn't it well it's it's the most practical way to get the most full experience okay. so you then pour that into the water tray now if you don't have a water tray then just do this at the sink right now what we're going to do it's fine no problem is we're going to pour these leaves in and now 
put the lid on, leave it for a couple of seconds, and now what we'd like you to do is smell those leaves. Okay, but so, uh, I haven't put any water on No, but now that the tea ware is warmed up, you're going to start to get some aroma. Okay. So go for it. Mm. Now you're getting aroma, right? Mm, very much so. What it's, a change. Yeah, My huge God. change. Just <laughs> some heat. can't believe it. Yeah. All of those aromatics oh. and flavours are meant to be locked into the very leaf. Very warm. Mm. Very warm. Very warm, kind of cosy smell. Fruits. I can smell some fruits. Okay. What fruits are you smelling? Mm. Stone fruits. Stone fruits? Like what? I don't know. Light cheese, maybe. Yeah. Lychee, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Light cheese there. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Some. And I've got that, that warm. I, I don't know why. It reminds me like a like a warming Christmas tree. Christmas tree. A Christmas tea. You know. Christmas tea. tea Christmas yeah. Tea flow. By the fire. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very much. Yes. It's got for me. It has some chocolate notes. So like dark bitter bitter chocolate. Swiss chocolate. No, not Swiss chocolate. Swiss chocolate's <laughs> way too milky oh, no, and sugary. No, no, no. Sorry, I, I, I was no, brought up on Swiss chocolate. But it's true, isn't it? Swiss chocolate it tends to be quite no, sweet. No, you do get, you, well, you do you get don't. very dark chocolate. Really? Oh, yes, you do. Oh, okay. Yes, you do. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have. Now you can go to get to a special confiserie where you have I'm sure, I'm sh sure. chocolaterie. Where you I'm sure they have incredible... Yeah. Chocolate. It is. But, but it's like but English it, tea in, in the sense that yeah. Swiss chocolate is not oh, the, the cocoa the, the, okay. the cocoa is not not like um, grown in Switzerland. It's just like <laughs> yeah. the tea is not grown in England. Yeah. Yeah. But it's the culture of it. Okay, so oh, so I'm getting rose. I'm getting a bit of malt, yeah. chocolate, mm. very complex Chop aroma. Very lovely. So you know, Gong Fu Brewing is about taking your time no, with I'm this. I'm actually surprised it just by not having any water in it yeah that it's well it's not even had yeah. been hydrated just yeah. by heating it up yeah, yeah. So, so really important okay so now we're going to rinse okay. the leaves so now pour some How water in. in just just so that it covers it no a bit more a little bit more okay then put that away and then immediately you're okay. pouring that into here so we're just rinsing but we're not going to throw that away, are we? <laughs> we're going to give it to our tea pet frog. That's no, what we're doing. No, no, so no, make no, sure you pour all of that out. Pour all of it out. It's all out. Okay. Well, every, every little drop is going to start to brew. So just, yeah, get it all out. That's it. No? It teaches you a little bit of patience. <laughs> it was something She's, I haven't got very much. Yeah, actually. sure. This is something I'm that I've like, you, <laughs> Where you see me in these videos <laughs> rushing around like crazy. Just, no, it's fine. Leave it. Leave it. Yeah, but I just want to. Yeah, it's fine. You just, this is the, this is the... Oh, that's a shame. That's a well, nice. you can drink it if you'd like, but what about this little frog here? What's the frog going to have? Well, Come it's on. a lot for him there. Give, Come give on. the frog a little bit. A little bit. There we are. Oh. Okay. I don't think it tastes it. So and much. then you warm up your cup. Oh, I can't drink that. You can drink whatever you'd like. If you but want to, if you want yeah, yours. If you want to drink it, but it's, it is, we didn't brew it for long, right? Oh, so this this normally we throw away. This is normally to to, to throw away. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now this has had time mm. to steam. And this a little bit. So just just leave it here. We'll throw it away afterwards. Now now you've got wet leaf, right? So again, a different flavor or whoa, aromatic experience. Whoa. Bam! Hits whoa. you in the face. It's like oh, God, it's like everything has been magnified yeah. to the extreme. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, definitely. I can still uh, smell the light sheet. Mm -hmm. I can definitely coming through. Yeah. Spices as well. Ooh, what spices? I don't know. Like Which spices? Ginger? Ginger, yeah. Oh, it's like yeah. a warm. I feel like. Like ginger biscuits. I remember talking oh, about ginger like, biscuits. Like, uh, like uh, Lee's special ginger biscuits. She makes the most amazing My ginger sister. biscuits. She does. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. That's her biscuits. Ginger biscuits. Oh, so lovely. we're in that Christmas territory, oh, right? Yeah, that's. So again, yeah. Isn't it lovely? It's gorgeous. Ginger biscuits. Yeah. I still get some chocolate. Yeah. I still get lychee. I still get some. I don't think it. You, you got rose before. I didn't really get much rose. Do you still get rose? I get it. I get like a Turkish delight note. You know, Turkish delight oh. with. Uh, dipped in dark chocolate is my classic tasting note for this tea. Yeah. So it's not roses in a fresh rose, but it's maybe like a cooked down rose syrup, mm. you know? Okay, yeah. so again, 
the purpose of Gong Fu Brewing is to make sure you get the fullest experience. So even if you're sitting by your desk and you're typing or you're doing, you know, your work, nothing's stopping you from having a little sniff, you know, even after you've had your first infu you've yes, had many infusions, yeah, it's nice yeah, to just yeah, give yourself yeah. some it's sort of sensorial very, delights yeah, yeah, every now and again, yeah. you know? Did you do it? Yeah, all the time. Uh -huh. Okay, so Froggy gets another little bit of tea rinse. Now we're going to go for our first brew. Temperature there is a bit hot, so we're going to have to add some water to that. Because for such a small leaf, yeah, yeah, yeah. 90 is fine. For 85, 90. For such a small leaf, you got to okay. be a little bit more <coughs> delicate with it. Okay, so pour the water now. You can go near to the top, but you don't go full, full. And is it a, a custom that you should go high up to get for the oxygen? No, that's fine, that's fine. Um, Do you know what people say? Yeah, should stop go up so you don't know? You don't know. I don't, I, no, it's not that I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't think so. I think that, As yes. You know, it always says that the, the traveling between. Yes, you will, you will add some more oxygen to the water, but I, I've not found that it makes a huge difference. Okay. When you pour, so if you pour from here and you start to add height, it does seem to have an effect on the actual okay. tea. So, so we're brewing for like about 15, 20 seconds. Okay, go for it. Nice so color. Let's pour it in here and then we can analyze the color a little bit. There we go. All of it? Yes, yes the whole thing. Hang on, I just want to yeah. hold the lid. There you go, that's it. Don't want to. Wow, look at this lovely golden. So, how would you color. describe that? Oh, color? absolutely. Beautiful gold. Beautiful, just golden. Okay. Golden color, it's like. So, now we take the lid off. <sighs> Okay. Amber. And we put him on a frog. Why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> just so that but the next time, see that. Look. just so that the next no. time we are going oh. to we are going to pour water on, we're going to jump the frog and we're going to count infusions, right? So this is oh, not fusion number. Counter. Yeah, that's yeah. a counter. So yeah, color of liquor. Golden whiskey Amber. color. Whiskey. Yes, yeah, very dark. It's beautiful, isn't it? And you can see some texture in it as well. Can you see there's uh, suspended in it, there's some, some texture, right? Those are the tiny little tea fluff. The buds have fluff oh, on them. Oh, I can see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you yeah, see? Yeah, 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 so it's yeah. got texture to it already. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is why some people don't like to use the filter because the filter sort of strips away some of that and you want full texture. Mm. So you can see in here, there's a little bit of that. Yeah, fluff. That fluff. Anyway, right. So, serve us up. There we go. Thank you. And the frog now. The frog is no, no, no. Fro frog, fro frog gets rinse. The frog <laughs> doesn't get, unless you're feeling particularly generous. Okay, okay so we've done mm. eyes dry leaf, we've done nose dry leaf, we've done nose wet leaf, we've done eyes liquor. So we've done four of our of our ten step tasting. Good Ready? heavens! Yeah, and take your time with it. Cheers. Cheers everybody. So Cheers now we're going to focus on texture. How does it, how is it in your mouth, the feeling in your mouth, the feeling of the liquor? Very smooth. Very smooth. Very, this is something very, that very, people maybe very get. Very rounded. Okay. Well, I was about to say that this is something that people find a bit difficult to, to, no, to, very to rounded. sort of I like wine, so I know mm, Okay. So soft, <laughs> did you say? Soft and rounded. Soft and rounded. I yeah. would very much agree. Very much so. Yeah. Okay, now taste. Now, first infusion, gonna be the lightest of your infusions. Oh, is it? Yeah, one of the misconceptions is thinking I it that, would be the, yeah, the, okay. that's the misconception, oh, right. that it's gonna be the most strong and then you're gonna, okay. and then you're going to have weaker infusions. Right. In fact, it's sort of like a bell shape. Mm. So the first infusion, the leaves are just starting to absorb water yeah. and start yeah. to do their thing and extract. Mm. So second, third, fourth infusions yeah. tend to be stronger and then it will start to tail out again. Okay? So, okay. So taste. Taste. Mm. Just very yummy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so difficult to give a specific name because it's just yummy all around. Breathe out through your nose while the tea is in your mouth and also after you've swallowed. And we can get more olfactory. Almond, almond yeah. Baked almonds. almonds get that, yeah. yeah. Nuts. Nuts. It's got, mm. got it's that like, warmth. Do you know what the... the the floral, the, although I smelled floral, I don't 
taste floral. Okay. But when I breathe more. out through my nose, I get the floral. Mm. So it's still an aroma, but maybe not a taste. Mm. I don't taste floral, I taste nuts. Nuts. Yeah, nuts. I need so, to have some more. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Baked uh, almonds, yeah. I get some of that chocolate. Biscuits, biscuits. 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 Cookies in yeah. American. Cakes. Mm -hmm. like, you know, like these, these, these rich, rich, uh, um, uh, what do you call this? The Yule Christmas cakes that has got almond paste in it. Christmas cakes that have almond paste yes, in it? Yes, uh, it's called, uh, it's called Stolle. Stoller? Stoller. The rolled up ones? Yeah. Isn't good that? Sh they, are they, do they have almond paste in? Mm -hmm. So it has uh, uh, it's a, a marzipan. Mm -hmm. It's more marzipan. Maybe it's so lots of those Christmassy flavours. Because flavors. it's marzipan or almond. Uh, yes, yes so it is. Yeah. So, yeah, so there's that marzipan. -y. So you're getting a lot of almonds, marzipans. Mm, delicious. Delish. So first infusion and we're getting all these flavors and the whole point is that as the leaf starts to extract through infusions you're going to get slight variations on the theme you're going to get variations on the, the and taste. It seems to stay mm -hmm. you know sometimes you have certain drinks that you have and it's gone yeah that you have to drink again in order for you to get the flavor yeah, or the yeah. taste this one seems to sort of sink into your mouth mm -hmm. around which is, palates, is right fundamental for high quality tea. Yeah. One of the big differences between high quality tea and sort of medium grade tea is not necessarily the aromatics and the taste, yeah. but it's the length of finish and how it leaves your mouth afterwards. So when you're breathing through your nose now, I'm still getting aromas. I'm still getting texture in my mouth and it has just a nice it's very delicate, feel on your throat. It's yeah. like it feels sort of vaporous yeah. and, and nice. Okay. But it's also surprising because usually you, when you when you see uh, uh, when you say something that's sort of so what to me is quite a delicate taste, mm -hmm. and then you see these dark leaves. How can something so dark bring something so delicate? You know, you expect more like a floral tisane to do that. Yeah, you true. Know, but this is so well. Remember, so this funny. is made with buds. Yeah, and well, the buds are going to have a much more delicate um, uh, flavour mm. or strength compared to compared to leaves. So how long do you leave? So the we're going to leave it for you know another, another five seconds or so. So we want to like have fifteen seconds, then twenty. Look, but all you of the brewing structure. No, because there's plenty of room for the water to to, to I move just, around you know, this, this uh, the kind leaf. Of feeling that you should stir. But no, you don't need to. You don't need to. Okay. And look at that, how beautiful is that it's at your desk? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, right? Okay, let's pour it off. It probably wouldn't work much, would you? Like Make sure you hold the, the lid. Huh? Sorry? It probably would not work as much. No, know. it's amazing. Like, you know what? It just brings a certain calm to your work. It will. Right? Because yeah. you're in the middle of emails and stuff. It's just, okay, let me just brew, brew yeah, tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can think about what yeah. your reply is going to yeah. be to that angry email. Yeah. And, you you know? <laughs> and you can sort of just say, okay, let me have my tea. <laughs> and, and I'll just, think about I'll it. I'll think about yeah. it. Yeah. It's no. Right? Let me serve Enjoy you. Enjoy the moment. Exactly. Enjoy the moment. All right, infusion number two. You can see that it's, it's stronger. It's yeah, darker. It is darker. Okay, yeah, so it's got more of a beige, darker, darker, orangey. Dark, darker orange in the first one. Not very much though, but a little. Yeah. Bit. So you can see it in a cup. Yeah. More than. Yeah, there. definitely. I can pour some in a white cup so you can. And then. You have to move our little friend. I did. He's already on number two. Oh. With these black teas, you're not going to get a do huge. Five? We don't have to do five in front of camera, but, but oh, yeah, oh, you would gonna, do five of yeah. this tea. But you could keep going. Be <laughs> It'll just become sweeter and sweeter mm. water, essentially. Yeah. yeah. So we've done six now. We've done we? eyes dry leaf, nose dry leaf, nose wet leaf, uh, the oh. eyes of the liquor, the the, the texture, taste, yeah. the taste. taste. Right, now what we want to do next? is finish. The finish? Yeah. The like finish is very we talked about it. Yeah, long, long lingering on, it stays, it stays smooth. You don't feel that you want to, <coughs> you know, square anything. Yeah. It's, it's just, just perfect. Yeah, it's luxury, just luxury. It's, it's, a, it's like a, a luxury soft pillow yes. going down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Velvety, yeah. It's very, very smooth, extremely smooth. Mm -hmm. 
lovely. Well, you picked lovely. a lovely tea. Oh. All right. So I, I actually almost picked one, and I really didn't know. That's serious, right? I didn't know anything before I came today, right? About what? About what we're going to do. No. And it's a bit of coincidence. Actually, chose a tea that's almost relating to the season. Of yeah. A, of a, of Christmas, of winter. Yeah. Bit, well, you, know, you probably, if it was summertime, you might have picked different maybe, candles. You maybe. might have gone for. Green well, and grassy, yeah, and, you yeah, know, I sort of saw that as a chocolate and sort of, you know, yeah. um, you're in the mood for that. Yeah. You're in the mood yeah. for that. Yeah. Okay, so we've done mm. the finish, long, vaporous. Lovely. I, I'm getting through the nose mm. a little bit of molten flowers, um, mountain flowers. Are you getting any of your Swiss Alps coming through? No. Any, I don't. Any no. of your any of no. your childhood uh, Swiss childhood. Uh, I think it's my mum's my mum's uh, 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 marzipan cake that, or yeah. ma uh, almond cake that she did with plums. Plum yeah, marzipan so. cake. Why is it that I've never had this before? Well, I can make it for you then. Mm -hmm. It's a tart. It's a tart with plum, but as a base, you put a marzipan at the bottom. Does it have a name, or is it just your well, family so my recipe? Mom, my, my, my mum's uh, my mum's cooking. Okay, so next in line is smell of the empty Gondal Bay. Have a smell really? Yes. It's different, isn't it? It's different. It's very different. My it's goodness. very different, isn't it? The smell of the empty Grand Dabe always brings out more oh. sugary, warm, toasty notes in a tea. And it's a fundamental you quality that to factor. To sleep with, don't yeah, you? you want, you want <laughs> that just <laughs> wafting in the room, <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's fundamental to the quality of the tea, to determining the quality of the tea, because if the Gong Dao Bei or cup maintains aroma long after it's been emptied, then that's going to be also happening in your mouth and it yeah. shows the quality yeah. of the, the minerals and the, and the compounds in the leaf, mm. the flavor mm. compounds in the leaf. Could you not spray this around the room to make it... Uh... Well, if you figure out how to extract it as a spray, we can do that. <laughs> oh, it's so it's nice, so beautiful. It? I'm getting more of those ginger biscuits yeah, yeah, now, yeah, like yeah. dark baked yeah. ginger biscuits. I'm actually very surprised. I never thought a lot of people are surprised by the, the smell. by the empty Gong Dabe because you mm. think an empty cup you, or an empty Gong But you need a certain height for that, don't you? You can't um, have you couldn't have a little. Well, uh, do you know what I'm saying? Smell that. It's still in there. It's just not maybe as strong as putting your nose into a pitcher, but it, no, it, it's, it's still in here. It's still in there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, length is important. I can smell Christmas here. Yeah. I can smell Christmas. It's just like, yeah. isn't it? Like, you know, walking into the room, the Christmas and the fire. Yeah. Yes, definitely. It has a tiny char wood yes. thing going on. Okay, so we're now on number nine. Keep drinking if you'd like. Now we're just gonna look again at the hydrated leaves and see what we think of the color now. See how it's mm. evened out? And now it's a real yeah. dark chestnut yeah, brown yeah. color, right? Yeah. The amount of effort yeah. that's gone into that, yes. and that brings you back to the fields, it brings you back to the mountains, it, it brings you back in touch with nature a you little bit. You almost want to talk to them, don't you? You well, want to say something. It's the first time I've talked to my tea leaves, <laughs> but you, you certainly can, feel free. <laughs> but you know, they've done such a lovely, well, the pickers, it's beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot it's of very, work that's very gone beautiful. into that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. So that's the ninth step. And the 10th step of our 10th step tasting is maybe a bit difficult for us to assess right now, but it's how it makes you feel, the body sensation. So now we're talking about all of the compounds in the leaf. You know, sometimes tea makes you feel energized with the caffeine. Sometimes tea makes you I'm feel relaxed. Excited. You feel a little bit. Very excited and, bit. And, and sort of looking forward to Christmas and having this sort of festive time ahead. I don't so know, it's put it you in a positive, yeah, it's very much uplifted so, yeah. frame of mind. I think that's true. I think that this tea, is Lovely. comforting. It's 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 a sort of comforting, luxurious, mm. a feeling of of gentle happiness, uplifting. Nothing too sort of jittery. You're not getting a lot of caffeine like mm, no. buzz out of no. it. Um, no. And and you know, I can actually. I said earlier on that uh, I can't imagine me, you know, drinking something like that by myself. It's much nicer if you're with somebody to drink it, mm. which it is especially with you. It's, <laughs> it's a different, but, it's a but, different thing. But yeah. actually I changed my mind. Actually it is quite nice because you don't, you don't, you don't talk to anyone. Yeah. And that's what I said, you can, I know it sounds crazy, but you can talk to the leaves. You can yeah, you're say having... thank you very much for what you're doing, you know, and <laughs> it's wonderful. And, and it's, 
appreciate. I think appreciate it in a different way when you're just you and the leaves. Well, Does so, that sound silly? no, that doesn't sound silly no. at all. It's a common phrase that I constantly tell people mm. is that tea requires three things. It requires the leaf, oh. it requires the water, and it requires you, the brewer. Right? It's a triangle of things that you that are needed to make tea. You're developing a relationship with the leaves, right? Yeah. And that relationship is about understanding the flavor, understanding how to get the best extraction out of it, understanding you know, what it mm. took to make mm. this tea. And that relationship is a very powerful thing that, that, that should be appreciated by yourself as well as with other people. But I totally agree with you that drinking by yourself it just gives you that space. That zen moment yeah. as well. You're just so by yourself. You're just, uh, you know, it's me and my tea. You and your tea. Me and my tea. I hope that I'm going to come to your office and I'm going I to see... I promise I will. I yeah? will. I will. Yeah, yeah, because will. this can sit here yes, now. No, no, it's, it's, you you it's don't tiny. have to worry not, about no, no, it. No, you can just leave yeah. that. You could, yeah. you could go no, and no, have no. meetings and whatever. Come yeah. back. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. tea's here but waiting I need, for me. I'll, I will need a thermos because that mm. was my... We can certainly supply you with everything <laughs> you need. When you actually talk about it, all the steps, yeah. it makes you appreciate much more the tea that you're actually drinking rather than yeah. you just making it. Yeah, I have a cup of tea, mom. Yeah. And then you drink it. Yeah. It's lovely. But when you actually go from step one, step two, step, you suddenly feel yeah. that you are in, you have a relationship with the tea. Yeah. Now, I know it sounds crazy again, but I will talk to my tea. No, feel free to have, to have long, deep conversations <laughs> no. with your leaves. No, that's, <laughs> that's perfectly fine. No, absolutely. And this is you the know? whole point. It's not ceremonial. No. But by doing no. It, no. You, it, it just brings you into a different mm. mode, you know, yeah. and that brings positivity, not just in terms of, you know, your day, but also in terms of yeah. your performance. You will work better. You'll get less stressed. Yeah. It will just feel yeah. like you've got your little salvation here yeah, waiting for you. So <laughs> all of you out there who are interested <laughs> in getting into Gong Fu Brewing, I hope that this video has sort of shown you the easy way, a ramp into Gong Fu Brewing. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be this sort of, you know, uh, geeky thing. Just start. And I'm sure that you will continue. Okay. It was lovely. Thank you. We'll keep drinking. <laughs> and I'm, keep drink. I'm uh, you're making me a promise now, right? I have, pro I will make a promise. Okay. And you can come and film, right. come into my office. Okay. So we're going to check on her. We'll see if she's gone through brewing next week. Yeah. It is wonderful. It tastes so nice. Yeah. It? Yeah. And I've got all the teas in the world there. So why well, should I, uh... You've got, you've got all the teas just, just at your doorstep at any mm. point. Just give me a call and tea is, tea is being delivered to you. <laughs> That's it, tea heads. Check out our other videos. Taste our teas wherever you are in the world by browsing mayleaf.com and come visit us if you're ever yeah. in London. Other than that, this is my mother, Monica. <laughs> I'm, I'm Don from Mayleaf. Thank you for being a part of the revelation of true tea. Stay away from those tea bags. Oh, Keep yes. drinking the good stuff yes. and spread the word because nobody deserves bad tea. Nope. Bye. Bye.